In this video, we're going to use the Mastermind GT Editor to quickly set up a guitar rig based around a Mastermind GT10 and an Effect Gizmo. The Effect Gizmo is a 12-loop audio switcher that allows you to switch your guitar effects in and out of your signal path under MIDI control. This works with any effects regardless of whether they're vintage analog or modern digital pedals. We'll use both types in this example, setting up for 7 analog pedals and 2 digital MIDI-enabled pedals. We'll show you how to set up buttons to control each pedal individually, and also to set up presets to switch combinations of pedals on and off while changing effect types on the MIDI-enabled pedals. To start, select New in the File menu, and when prompted, select 10 button. This tells the editor we're going to be working with a Mastermind GT10. Now, go to the Devices page. There's a Rack Gizmo in the device list already, and we can change its type to Effect Gizmo, since that is what we're going to be using in our rig. We'll note that this is set to MIDI channel 1, which is exactly what we want. Now go to device slot 2, and this one we're going to set to a Strymon timeline, and we're going to set it to MIDI channel 2. You need to go into the timeline itself and set it to MIDI channel 2 as well. Next, go to the third device slot and set that to a Strymon Mobius and we'll set that to MIDI channel 3. Each device needs to be on its own MIDI channel, typically. These are the only devices that we need to set up. Any non-MIDI effects are under the control of the effect gizmo. Now we can set up buttons. There are a lot of ways to do this, but we're going to primarily use the instant access mode in our application. Instant access mode, which is called reveal mode on other controllers, allows you to have a secondary function on most of your buttons. In normal mode, you'll have the ability to select presets and banks, and we'll set these buttons up to control individual effects in instant access mode. On the Mastermind GT itself, you'll press the IA mode button to switch modes, but in the editor, we'll use this IA mode checkbox. You'll see that these buttons are almost set up the way we want them already. The default rack gizmo configuration is pretty close to what we want. We're just going to change a few things. We're going to say that we have analog effects in loops 1 through 7, and the Strymon pedals in loops 9 and 10. We'll change the loop 8 button to loop 9 by clicking on the right mouse button. And then we'll go to Assign CC, Effect Gizmo, Loop 9. And then we'll change the Function 1 button to Control Loop 10. We'll go Assign, Effect Gizmo, Loop 10. Double clicking on a button brings up the button editor. Here you can edit button names, set colors, and do a lot of more advanced things. And on the screen here you can see both the functions that the button does in normal mode, which is a preset button, and also IA mode, where it's controlling loop 9. We'll change the button's name in IA mode to reflect the pedal that it's controlling. And in loop 9 we'll say it's the Mobius. And we can do the same thing for loop 10, changing that to the timeline. You can rename all of the other loops to match the pedals that are in the loops as well. If you're using all 12 loops on the Effect Gizmo, you could put more buttons on the second button page. We'll cover pages in a different video. Now, if we were to send this data to the Mastermind GT right now, we'd be able to use the Instant Access buttons to turn on and off the Effect Gizmo loops. Next, we'll set up some presets on the preset page. You'll see we have a preset list over here, um, some general settings, uh, program changes for each device, and then IA state. And so this basically controls what happens when you select a particular preset. So we'll start with preset 1, and we'll call this preset Clean Chorus. And so what we'll do is first tell it that we need the Mobius, and we want to select, let's say preset 5 is the uh, Chorus preset on the Mobius. And so when preset 1 is selected, it's going to send preset 5 to the Mobius. Uh, we won't need to do anything with the timeline because we're not using it in this preset. And the effect gizmo settings are already preset for us. We can just leave those alone. Now the other thing we need to do is go over to IA mode here. And we need to go in and make sure that the button that controls the Mobius's loop on the effect gizmo turns on. And so that's preset 1. It's going to turn on the Mobius's loop and set it to the right preset. Okay, and let's do preset 2. And we'll make this a rhythm patch. And so for this one, we're not going to use the timeline or the Mobius. And we'll just say that loop 3 over here 
is a uh, say an overdrive pedal and we're just going to turn that on for this preset and that's all we need to do we'll do one more and we'll call this a solo preset and on this one let's say we want the timeline on to give us some delay and we'll make that uh, program number two on the timeline and um, we'll make sure that the timeline's loop is on we'll also turn on loop three which was our overdrive pedal and let's say we have a boost pedal in loop one as well and so that's what we need for our solo sound. So now you can see, as we click through the presets, the IA buttons and the program changes change accordingly to those settings that we set up. And this will be the same in the uh, Mastermind GT itself. When we actually select those preset buttons, it will send the MIDI messages to the effect gizmo and the pedals and make the, the changes happen that you requested. So that's the basics. This should get you a working setup in just minutes. There's a lot more you can do to customize your Mastermind GT, and we'll cover that in other videos. For more information, always please check out our website, forum, and Facebook page. Thanks.